my brothers and sisters, greetings. We celebrate today Pentecost. After Jesus ascended into heaven, his disciples were alone and confused. They were not quite sure what they should do or even what it meant to be a disciple of Jesus. But on the day of Pentecost, the apostles remembered Jesus' parting words to them. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Then you are to be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria. Yes, even to the ends of the earth. Things became clearer. They were to move beyond Jerusalem and Judea into Samaria, Gentile territory. The realization that Gentiles were called as well as Jesus made them realize that Jesus had done something new. Antioch and Syria, beyond the boundaries of Judea and Israel, became the center for a large number of disciples. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were called Christians for the first time, Acts 11, verse 26. Yet only after much discussion, debate, and at times very heated arguments, did the Christians come to see that Jesus had founded a church for all people of all times and all places. Then St. Ignatius, the Bishop of Antioch, around the year 180, used the term Catholic for the first time to refer to his Christian community. The word, of course, means you know for so. It is most appropriate for the Church of Jesus Christ and, and the name eventually became permanent and official. We now express our belief in the one holy Catholic and apostolic Church. Catholic, we must be not only in name but in reality. The church is not Italian or Irish or Polish. It is not Mexican or American or Asian. It is universal. In celebrating the liturgical observance, observance of Pentecost, we give thanks and praise to God for calling us into the holy church, which is one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic. That's the miracle of Pentecost who make us realize Jesus really did come for all people and for people of all places. May God bless you.